Hello, in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to export or save a logo as an SVG file in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very, very easy to do. So, um, before we proceed, here's what you need to know about SVG files. So, um, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So, they are also text-based. So, what that means is that they can be editable once you export them. And, um... They are supported by most modern browsers so um i'll explain that and i'll show you an illustration about that during the course of this video so um they are often used on logos icons and um illustrations so um they are smaller than png so we'll be doing a test in this video and um they don't lose quality when scaled to any length so um once you scale them to any length or any size, they still maintain um, their quality. So they are editable and easy to manipulate. That is why they are text based. So um, here's how to do it. Um, you select this, then you go to file, then save as, or you just control E if you like shortcut. So, um, SVG so you select a file type as SVG scalable vector graphics like I said that is what it means so um, you give it a file name select the location make sure this is selected selected only so I'm um, click on export then on um, this box or this um, area pops up here so um, this is what I mean by as a text so once this is selected you can edit it once you bring it back to coral draw so um you can also select a preview so this is how it's going to look this is what i mean by it's supported by most modern browsers so this is um microsoft edge all right so um, once you're done every other thing here is default so once you're done you click on okay so um we've successfully exported this file as an svg so let's take a look all right so let's open the file location so um this is it so the file size is 48 kb and if you notice the icon is the microsoft edge logo that is why i said it's supported by most modern browsers so we can open this so this is what we have at the end of the day so let's bring this back to coral draw and see if we can actually edit it like i said so you drag this so this is it it's going to take a little while so um i have all of this so you click on ok all right so this is what we have so um you can actually ungroup this control u and um since we exported it as um, text based you can actually edit the text as you can see here so um and add whatever you want you can change the font style let's see let's use poppins for this as you can see so um, you can also change the color as well let's give it a random color so um, you can also change the color and play around with it that is why it was exported as um, text based all right so um you can also scale it to whatever size of your choice just like vector graphics so once you scale it it still maintains its quality so um the essence of this is that and the essence of the low size which is 48 kb it's often um used on website to boost its speed so um those into seo can relate to this so um let's export the same file as png and compare the sizes like i said it's often lesser than png to g and control e to export so um give it a name so let's add to behind and export then change file type to png portable network graphics it's going to come without the background so export so um this dialog box pops up here so um we're okay with this so we can also see the size from here 53.5 kb but let's export this first and see 
all right so um so um this is it the png file so the size is 53.4 kb and my and the svg is 47.0 kb so like i said um svg are often lesser in size and can be scaled to whatever length and it's also editable but pngs are not editable once you import them in coral draw so let's bring it in coral draw so it's not editable and if you zoom the quality is very it's not it gets pixelated when you keep um zooming in but um for svg is not that way so let's drag it here So they are not compared. So guys, um, that is it on this video on how to export or save a file as an SVG in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very very easy to do. Alright guys, um, if you found this video helpful, do all to hit on that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos, and don't forget to like, share, and drop a comment on this video. And um, if you have someone who is interested in getting better or design with Coral Draw, do want to recommend my channel to the person. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.